Hello there, stamping friends. It's Jackie Ballheis from Confident Stampers. Today, I'm gonna share a new suite of products with you. It is in the January, and I wanna say June, but they changed it now. It's only four months, so January, February, March, April, January through April <laughs> um, mini catalog, and it's called By the Bay. This was one of the first, and I say one, because there's like three of them that it's had to have, um, but this one is one of the first that I've actually really dug into and played with, and oh my gosh, it's gorgeous, especially the designer series paper. The cards I'm gonna share with you today, we're gonna make one, and then I have two other completely different ones to share with you, all from this suite and using all the products, but all three of them really focus on the designer series paper. Love, love, love this designer series paper. Stamp it up, hit it out of the park with designer series paper throughout this whole mini catalog. So the card I have, it's really fun. Um, I hope you enjoy it, but we're gonna use a lot of different pieces of that designer series paper. It's also a great layout idea. You could do this with any packages of designer series paper that has a bunch of coordinating images with it. So I'm excited to share this card with you, plus lots of tips um, for using some of the parts and pieces in this suite of products. Now, don't forget, there is a link in the video description that will take you to the corresponding blog post. Over there will be three, well, I shouldn't say three. There will be pictures of the three projects that I'm sharing with you, along with all the cutting measurements or card recipe, um, as well as the complete list of the products that I use. So if you'd like to order any of these, I make it real easy for you to order. But before you order, make sure, use my host code if your order is under 150. Don't use it if it's over 150, so you can also get Stampin' Rewards and you can collect frequent shopper points with me to earn a free stamp set. So make sure you read all about that before you place your order. And at the top of my website is where you will always find my current host code. You could also request a catalog over there or get a hold of me if I can help you in any way. So it's pretty important to click on that link and go over there. And then if you like my video, make sure to give me some heart share you're this with your other stamping friends and leave me a comment because I'd love to hear from you. Alrighty, let's get stamping. Oh wait, one more thing. I always forget to tell you. Make sure, and you can do it, the link's in the video description, but also over on the website. Make sure to sign up for my email newsletter. I send out an email every week, once a week, unless there's something really hot, but usually once a week. And in it, I always have two to three different card making tutorials that you can download. And those are projects that I don't share anyplace else. So if you want those ideas, um, make sure you sign up for my email newsletter so that you get them. Okay, now it's time to dive into the suite because I can't wait to share these projects with you. Hang on. Like I said, we're using products in the mini catalog that is January through April. Boy, I struggled with that. So this just began in January. You got four months to pick up these products and it is jam packed full of fun things. And um, the suite I'm using today is called By the Bay. Um, and with all, like with all of their suites, you can get the whole suite, everything shown here with one ordering number, or you can just pick up parts and pieces of it. But we're going to be using the paper, the ribbon, the embellishments, the stamps, the dies. So we're going to use it all in the easy project that I have for you. You all know me. If you follow me, I am all about making easy cards. Now, I told you also that we were going to focus on the designer series paper. Just look at this paper. Um, one side of most of the sheets is, or it has that gold metallic on it. And I actually have, um, one or actually two of each sheets here. I'm just showing you both the front and the back so that you can see all these beautiful papers. Now, the one thing I found um, a lot of times I will use paper and not even necessarily use the stamps and the dies and everything else that goes with it. Um, so this is fantastic paper that will be great for all different kinds of projects. It doesn't necessarily have to be using these products. So let's set that aside and let's bring in the pieces that we're going to use for our project today. Now, we're gonna use, we're gonna do a lot of die cutting actually. And so I kind of stack this up here, but I am using my Stylish Shapes dies. Um, I use these a lot on projects. I love the stitch circles with these. And the other thing, there is this little bird die. Now he does match a bird in the stamp set. 
so you can stamp him and cut him out. But also one of the sheets of paper in there has birds on it. And like in this case, there's really only three that are full birds, but you can use that same die to cut it out of the paper if you want to, which we're going to do that for this project. So we're gonna cut the bird out of that. We are going, I got two different size circles here. We're going to use this larger one to cut a circle out of this piece. I'm gonna put it down the corner to kind of get as many shells as I can. And then one size smaller on the circles and we're gonna cut a circle out of this piece. See that nice metallic? We wanna pick up some of that metallic. And then while I'm over at the cut and boss machine, I also just have a scrap here from a different project. And there are some shell dies that aren't designed to cut out stamp shells, but rather just to cut out the shells. And I'm gonna actually cut these out of the scrap of the designer series paper rather than cardstock. So let me go do all the die cutting and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's our scraps, got all kinds of stuff going here. Here's our two circles and our bird. Remember, we could stamp him as well because we don't have a ton in the paper. Um, but this paper, what's fun is I can still cut out these crabs and I also have a lot of other stuff I can use. And then I have three shells. Uh-oh, did I drop one on the way over here? I should have three little shells here. Well, now we got three all together because I cut some more. I couldn't find them. So there's all of our little parts and pieces to make our card. Now, before we start putting it together, let's do one other thing because this actually needs to be die cut as well. We're going to use our Night and Navy ink pad because that does coordinate with all of our colors here. And I do have a greeting that comes as part of that stamp set. Thank you for everything. Love the fonts on this. And then we're gonna use the stitched rectangle die, um, use this one a lot as well, to go ahead and cut this out. And when I do, notice how I'm gonna put it all the way over here to the right rather than centering it. You'll see why when we put the card together. Okay, so now we have that piece. I think we have everything here. So we're gonna go ahead and take our card base and let's grab our adhesive. Now for this, we're gonna use these circles as kind of a main element on here. Boy, I hate to um, not use that side of the cardstock because it is so pretty. I'm gonna actually let this one run off the edge here. So let's stick that down. And then we're gonna take this one. Oh, that side's so pretty too. But we wanted that metallic going on this. So let's stick that one right there. Now I do have to cut, grab the paper trimmer because we're gonna just trim this circle off. So we can take our card, I like to flip it upside down so that designer series paper is where that blade's gonna really hit it. And then just trim it off. So now we have a nice little card front going there. Then next, we're gonna grab some dimensionals because you know me, we can't make a card without them. And let's put three on there so this little guy stays up good. And we're gonna go ahead and just stick that kind of over our circles. At this point, it really is just putting the card together once we have all these parts and pieces. Our bird is gonna go there. So with these dimensionals, I always like to kind of lay it and see where I'm gonna go. I wouldn't wanna put a dimensional out here. I want it more on the front part of his body here so that it stays up um, on top of that thank you piece. So we're gonna just go ahead and stick our bird right there. And then we have these beautiful shells and I think the mini dimensionals will fit on these as well. So let's take a small one. We'll start with a small one and we're going to just kind of stick that right there. And let's take another small one. So we just got kind of a lot of little things going on here. So let's put that there. And then our large one, instead of using a dimensional, let's put some adhesive on that one. And I'm gonna kind of half put it underneath there, like so. Okay, now, a couple more things. We wanna add a piece of this gorgeous ribbon. This is part of the suite. Now, generally, I don't use the thicker ribbon because it's hard to tie a bow with. This, though, is super soft and small, and you can tie a bow, um, but I'm not a very good bow tier, so I like to use this little bow maker that I have. Now, a friend gave this to me many years ago, like probably 
15 years ago. Um, I know you can find these on Etsy if you search bow maker. Um, you can just move the pegs to different size. This is kind of my favorite with one little hole in there. But to do this, you're gonna wrap your bow um, or your ribbon around. Now I know some of you have one of these and you don't know how to use it. That's why I'm showing you. Cross them and then, oops, I gotta cross this way. The left over the right and then this piece goes back and underneath to the back and around and then these two pieces I just tie into a knot. Now like I said I don't have a link for this. Um, search You can search on SC. I'm sure you can find them. Um, tie that nice and then slide it off and you get these beautiful perfect bows every single time. Now like I said because this ribbon is so sheer and it's so nice and soft it really does tie nice bows even when it's so little like that. So that's why I chose to use it on this project. And then we're going to just take a little mini glue dot on the back of our bow and we'll bring this in here. Oops, it's stuck to my finger. That's not good. <laughs> and then we're gonna stick that right down in there. Um, but isn't this card super simple, but it's so pretty. And then we're gonna add one last thing. The other thing that's part of this suite is the, um, what do they call these, pearls. They're so pretty. So if I take my take your pick tool with the picker, picker upper end, I call it, um, the I think it, what they call it, putty, but it makes it real easy to grab these. So let's just grab three of them, because I like to do everything in threes. We'll put one there, and then let's go ahead and put one down here. And there is the front of our card. Now, before I show you the other two, I wanna show you what we're gonna do on the inside because you always wanna make that inside look just as pretty as the outside. So we're gonna just take a piece of basic white. Now these measurements, remember, will be over on that blog post. I'll have all the measurements for all the pieces I'm using. And then I just have a scrap from that same designer series paper pack. It's a different print than what I've used but it was just a leftover piece because I save all the scraps when I start cutting this paper up. And we're gonna just put that down there at the bottom. And then there's a stamp that says, you're a pearl, rare and precious. And we're gonna just go ahead and stamp that down at the bottom. And then this will go on the inside. Oh, and you know what? This is why we cut out extra of, of these. I probably even should have one more, um, but for now, let's just take the one and we're gonna go ahead and stick it there. And then when I'm done, I think I'm gonna get one more big one and stick it on there as well. And then we'll adhere that to the inside. And there is our card. We're using all the different elements that are part of the suite, super easy card, and I think it's cute. I hope you do too, um, but it's really focusing on that designer series paper. Now, let me show you two other ones I made. So for this one, again, I'm using the paper. This bottom piece, I took a scissors and cut here. This whole sheet is these waves. So I just cut a piece of it. And then this back one here, which looks like I watercolored it, is a piece of the paper. I used the heartfelt sympathy, which is a greeting in the stamp set as well. Um, the birds are stamped because there's not those in the um, paper to cut out. And then I stamped them in night and navy and colored with a blend. And then our little pieces of... Um, grass or whatever you want to call them. Can you see the sparkle and the shine? I cut those out of scraps of the designer series paper as well and then did a little stamping on the inside. And then the third card, I really want to focus on that paper. Can you see the shine? It's so pretty. And then I just added the greeting, you're a pearl, rare and precious. Um, a couple of the shells I stamped and cut out with the die added just one pearl and then thank you for everything on the inside. So there you go, three different cards with the suite, using all the products from the suite, but really focusing on that designer series paper because it is absolutely stunning. So make sure you check out the blog post to get all the details, measurements, and everything for these cards, as well as the full list of all of the products that I use. And if you have any questions, reach out to me. I am here to help you in any way that I can. So until I stamp with you again, have a stamp happy day.